Hey everyone, how are you doing? Bill Deweese here, and I am with Alex Deweese, and it's not hello coincidence that we share the same last name. It's the fact <laughs> that I'm his dad. Alex is my son. That's he lives right. in Chicago. I live in Cincinnati. Um, Alex is a professional audio engineer. You know, and I thought maybe first, Alex, just maybe talk to us a little bit about your path to VO Tech guy. Yeah, if you know, because yeah. you know, I mean, you have you have a a story and a journey, and you've been. I mean, you didn't just decide a few days ago to do this. You've been involved in some way, shape, or form, music, audio for a long time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, well, I've been a musician for you know long time, uh, going on twenty tell years you how to now. Play guitar? Who was that? I'm just... That's right, my father. Because... My father was oh, the one. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. I just want to know who your big influence was early on and right, <laughs> learning right, GED yeah. on the guitar. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I've been a musician for about twenty years now. Uh, did did some touring uh, back back in my younger days. Uh, and you know, fell in love with with music in general, uh, and then you know, decided to uh, take a step toward learning how to record and mix and master music, uh, which then developed uh, as as you know, I saw my my father moving into this new line of work uh, that developed into learning about voiceover and and how to record stuff at home, um, and that's you know that was kind of it for me uh, once I once I you know was able to uh learn all of this stuff you know how to record how to how to mix how to eq the voice how to pick right the right mic for a certain space it it all kind of turned into this i guess and you remember your first editing experiences i do i do <laughs> i was i was about 15 i believe <laughs> right <laughs> editing You're a young uh, guy editing your auditions That's uh, right. in adobe audition yeah, so we got you. We got you to work early on. I mean, this is we're going way back. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's but right. you were yeah, you were still in high school, and I remember during summer you would you would help me out, uh, and you were a really good at it. I mean, geez, at fifteen and sixteen, you were became a really good editor. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a skill you've had for you know for a very long time, and I know you know even uh, you know after college, and you went on and you studied then audio engineering. Uh, in addition right, to yeah. working in the environment, I mean, you actually have the, the formal education as well. So, yeah, just so people can kind of get a sense of who you are. So musician, yeah. formally trained engineer, but also studio engineer guy, but working with vo in voiceover for like right. the last 15 years in audio. Yeah, and that's right. And then really, you know, kind of dialing that in once I, I attended the Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, and was kind of able to really dial that stuff in pretty well. I have this, this, okay, I'm going to share with you just, this will sound really silly, especially, you know, for my age where I'm at in life, but I've always had this kind of fantasy that, you know, if, if I retired or I had nothing else to do with my life, you know, I had the time I would love to go to a school like that Yeah. or, or something similar where I would just go yeah. and then take all the experience that I've had and just kind of learning on the fly to actually really understand like you do, you know, really understand why you do what you do and the science behind it. I think that would be so valuable, uh, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> that's yeah, a, that's, yeah. That's a really good, that's a really good thing. Um, which brings us to, the, you know, today, I know you consult and you help a lot of people. Uh, talk about yeah. maybe just kind of the range of kind of things that you do when working with people as a, uh, a voiceover uh, engineering coach. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, at, at kind of its base, what I do is is I will take some some current audio from uh, typically new voice talent, uh, not always new, but that's kind of the majority of what I'm doing. Um, I'll take some audio from new voice talent, let them know what I think of their current sound, see where they're at. Um, and a lot of that is, you know, helping them kind of get started from the ground up, getting their, their booth put together, uh, picking out uh, gear for them to use, what kind of mic they should be using. Uh, and then at that point, it's about, you know, dialing in that sound, getting the right EQ, the right compression. Uh, and, you know, we, we cover a, a broad range of things during these consultation sessions, but it's really about getting good audio and streamlining your process so that it's easier for you. 
And because of the demand for, I mean, this is, vo- I mean, audio is the first thing you got to get right. You got to get that right. If you don't have that right, nothing else works. And because of that, um, you know, I don't know what your inbox looks like, but I get a flood of emails, many, uh, most of which, all of which are forwarded on to you. Uh, yeah. So I don't even see what comes directly to you, but I know that this is a big deal for people. And understandably, most people are not audio engineers, nor should, I mean, that's not where they come from. You know, right. come from varying backgrounds. And even if you're a performer, doesn't mean you know anything about really the technical aspects of voiceover. And so that's, that's, Alex builds that bridge. And because of the demand, um, we've created a class that ha- Alex will be teaching beginning tonight. And so if you're watching this video a little later, just so you know, which will be Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. Uh, for four consecutive Tuesdays um, that will be done live, but also everything's recorded and archived. So those who who are in the class can go back and watch as often as you want forever. You have forever access to the class. Um, wanted to do it at a really affordable price. It's under a hundred bucks for four one hour sessions. Uh, it's 97 bucks and you can, uh, the, the website where you can learn more and register is VOTechMastery.com. So that being said, Alex, talk to me about you know, what are a few of the the big questions or frustrations that you hear from from voice talent? You know, that you just hear yeah. over and over again that might really hit a broad segment of our listening audience today that they would be frustrated or or, you know, challenged with. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I do think one of the big things that I hear a lot uh, is I don't know what good audio sounds like, so I don't know what to be listening for. And oh, that, wow. That makes sense. Yeah. And and that's something, you know, like I said, I, that's a question I get all the time and, and it's a concern a lot of people have. Uh, and that's why I do think, you know, it's important to have an audio engineer, you know, on, not necessarily on hand, but, you know, make a connection with one, meet one, uh, you know, so you can have kind of a helping hand in that in that process of, of training your ears uh, to what good audio sounds like and and you know, what the EQ scale is and what certain frequencies sound like. This is, you know, it's it's not something that you kind of just catch on to. Uh, right. it, it takes a lot of training and a lot of learning. Um, but th- that's that's a big one. And and then at that point, I'd say just getting your, your space set up. Uh, there's a lot of parts that go into putting a recording space together. And like you said, not everyone's an engineer and, and I certainly don't expect them to be. So, you know, and that's, that's where I come in. You know, I'll, I help put those things together and help kind of uh, fill in the missing pieces, I guess. And, you know, along that line, Alex, I, a lot of people will say, well, tell me, you know, what, what, what setup do you have? What are your set? You know, what's your EQ? What's your compression? This, that, and the other, because I just want to do what you're doing. Sure. Well, the one size doesn't fit all for a number of reasons. So talk about yeah. that a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's voice is different. Everyone's uh, recording space is different. All microphones are different because of, you know, just those three variables, you know, everybody is going to need a different setup for it, a different sound. My voice doesn't sound the same as yours. Uh, mm-hmm. So I wouldn't want to use, you know, the exact same EQ that you're using because I'm going to, I might not end up sounding the same. I don't, I don't want to, uh, just use somebody else's bass template um, because it's not right. going to accentuate my voice the way I need it to. And even, you know, I've got, I've, I've used a couple different microphones this year because we're in a new place and there's a little more noise to deal with. But mm-hmm. uh, when I shifted from Neu- the Neumann TLM-103, which is a great microphone, to this other, which is a great microphone, Sennheiser 416, I had to adjust the EQ because, not because my voice had changed or even the space had changed, I'm still in the same booth, but the microphone had changed. Right. So just that one variable, it does, it, it changes everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it could, it could have been your recording space that changed, you know, maybe, maybe you, uh, you lost some of, of your foam. You got some, some foam damage behind you and as right. you yes. that stuff down, that's going to, that's going to affect right. the sound of your booth as well. If I get a uh, different size computer monitor in front of me, I mean, I, I'm sure everything yeah, does make yeah. a difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the thing is like, you never, you never really know what's going to change and how it's going to change things. Um, yeah, and that's where I come in. It probably doesn't hurt to get a tune-up every year or so, even. Sure. You know, to where say, yeah. you know, 
ha- have you hire you to just to say listen say okay it's been a year since i've adjusted you know yeah and <laughs> sometimes I, we just don't realize things have shifted or changed or we don't we don't think about those little things that can change the formula definitely yeah and, and i do get emails from people that you know maybe i worked with a year ago or two years ago and you know they're just kind of checking in just yeah. want to make sure that there's nothing i can do to improve my sound uh, because like i said you know a lot of people st- still even at that point uh, a year in two years in not totally sure what they're listening for right. um, yeah and that's and that's uh it's tough it's tough so would you consider those the biggest things or most frequently asked i i do think so i think that kind of that kind of wraps it all up uh in in generalizes you know the the big things uh, is, is so you'll be addressing those things in more detail within your class. I will. I will. We'll be. And I'm going guessing over, a few other things. Absolutely, we'll be going over all kinds of of recording gear uh, and equipment. Uh, you know, editing and processing how to use effects, what all these effects are doing. Uh, you know, a whole a whole bunch of stuff. Editing tips and tricks. Uh, we'll, we'll be we'll be really getting into detail. Is it safe to say for you know so regardless of whether you've done this for a long time and you just need to understand the latest or you know all the strategies involved or whether you're brand new at this and like you don't have a clue that you'll walk away with the information that you need to be successful when it comes to audio in voiceover? Absolutely, yeah. We'll be we'll be starting at the ground up, so this will kind of be you know, a a step-by-step guide to getting that, that process started, which by the way, means you can, you can kind of jump in and, and grab it at at any point. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be really helpful for, for everyone. Well, and again, the class begins tonight at meaning Tuesday, April 19th, 2020, uh, 2022 rather. Right. Four consecutive Tuesdays. Even if you see this later and you think, oh, I missed the class, you didn't because everything is recorded, it's archived, so you can get it on demand. So whether you attend the class live or not, you still have access to the recordings forever. You can go back and reference them and watch them over and over. It's amazing how much you get uh, from watching, uh, going through a class a second or third time that you don't catch the first or even the second time that you go through it. At least that's the way it way it works for me. Well, hey, very proud of you and all the great work you're doing. You're helping so many people be successful Thank in voiceover, which I, it's just a wonderful thing. So I'm, I'm really glad you're doing this class. Looking forward to it. And thanks for yeah. taking the time to talk with me today. We'll see hey, you later tonight for anytime. the class. Sounds okay. good. Bye-bye.